So I want to show you guys Notorious Client. This client has been out for a while and I just haven't got around to making a video on it. I honestly kind of forgot about it because uh, I don't normally use Notorious. But um, this is the website here where you can buy Notorious Client. I will also have this linked in the description. They have both the Notorious mod, which is the main client. And then they also have the add-on for the Lovins module, which you need the main client if you want to use the Lovins thing. But um, once you buy that, it's twenty four ninety nine euros. Um, you just go to your purchases, and uh, it'll have your license key, and then you just head over to downloads, and uh, you select on this. You click download this file. I'm not gonna open up my key because I don't want to leak it obviously. Um, so once it's done downloading, you click more info, run anyway. You select yes. By the way, make sure your VR chat is closed for this. Uh, you're going to want to enter in the email you use to sign up on Notorious's meep.gg site. And then you're going to also want to enter your key there. Which I'm not going to enter my key there. I already have it installed. Um, basically, you just want to go through the whole installer. It'll install everything you need. Uh, it'll do it all for you. So once you have that installed, open up VR chat. The first run may actually take a little bit longer to initialize, which is normal. Um, every run after that should be quicker. But uh, <clears throat> if you open up your quick menu here... Um, you can go ahead and see that the UI obviously is different. They have a player list, they have a debug, they have the notorious button here, which you could also press it right there. It does the same function. Uh, they have a utility tab. They have a bunch of options for UI and sounds. I'm not going to go over each feature because there's just way too many of them. Uh, you have a movement button here. Personal security. Um, this is basically... Uh, you know, for spoofing your ping FPS, uh, spoofing your name, um, basically just antis for like anti udon anti RPC, which could be things that people may use for crashing. Um, there's a bunch of other things too you can use. Uh, there's also spawn utilities, which you have all of these options in here. You have video players, which basically allows you to control. I believe just SDK2 uh, world video players. I don't think it works on Udon Worlds. You have a mirror button here for portable mirror. Dynamic bone, which I believe this is obsolete now that there's fizz bones. Um, you have performance here, which technically some of these things can increase your performance. I know they have an optimized client button here, which I don't know how much it works but i think it just disables a bunch of things on notorious that can hurt performance you have a settings but in here as well with more options um files is for logging uh exploits which are for more malicious things so um i don't know menu remover basically removes the colliders on the menu so other people can't click on their menu um there's also clap world where obviously to crash people uh, world triggers this is you know if you want to turn off people's mirrors and stuff like that which i don't recommend doing anything toxic i'm not malicious at all uh, i think this is just an udon manipulator where if there's any udon triggers in the world obviously this world has none um but you can manipulate them without actually going up to the trigger um you have Aya God, which is just more um, like logging and stuff like that, which should show in the debug. Just shows more of the things that are going on in the world, uh, such as like Udon events, maybe like avatar switching and whatever else that it can log. Um, you also have a mic button here too. You can change your bit rate, uh, your gain, sensitivity, which sensitivity might be useful if your mic, you know, cuts out. If you're playing music, for example, uh, you have camera where you can just manipulate your camera a little bit, like the resolution you can bump up and stuff like that. Um, you can translate the client or actually translate, I believe, the whole VR chat menu. So if English isn't your main language, you could translate it to any of these, which obviously I'm not going to use. Uh, you have menu styles, which just allows you to customize your UI a little bit. Um, 
<laughs> you have the love and sweat in here, which I don't have. Um, you have audio manager. You could control browser, Discord, Spotify volume. You could skip songs and all everything else that it has. Uh, you have functions here, which you have world history tab. Um, and then just a bunch of these other options. Like I said, I'm not going to go through each and every one because there's just too many to go through. You could hide, you could show your debug or player list. They have a light player list as well, which is just more of like a lightweight player list. Doesn't show all the uh, ping FPS and stuff like that. Uh, you could also change the styles of the backgrounds, which I'm not going to go through because I believe one of them is kind of semi NSFW. Um, you have block and unblock and master um, supporter perks, which this is. If you pay, I believe it's on their website, if you, like, pay for their perks, you get these things, I guess. Um, third person, which is kind of useful for desktop mode. Uh, you have Easy Rip. This just basically allows you to download VRCAs and stuff like that, which is pretty malicious. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, we have Memory for Wings, Extras. There's just a lot of options on Notorious. Um, and then, for example, if you were to click on somebody, uh, let's see. Like, I'll click on myself, for example. You have all of these options here. Um, you can send messages if the person is also running Notorious. You could, like, just private DM them, like, in-game. Uh, you could soft clone, which, if somebody is in a, uh, oops, let me go back. If somebody is in a private avatar, you can still load their asset bundle locally. So, like, if I was in a paid avatar, obviously it's uploaded private on my account. Nobody can clone it. Nobody can force clone it. Uh, with Notorious, you could soft clone it, which is basically only you can see it. But you could, in other words, test out private avatars before paying for them. Now, I don't know if that's malicious or not malicious. Technically, nobody else can see it. But, um, I don't know. That's kind of interesting it's kind of cool uh force mute i believe just allows you to mute people without it showing mute for them um i believe it just turns off their you speak data uh you have other options too these bot options which if you go to the main menu here the launch pad there's a button here for bots and you could set up all the bots you know um you could create all the bots you know log into them and then you could have like those little application bots going around and they have all these options here. Uh, you could have them join worlds. You could have them add people. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a beta, I guess. I never tried it. I use Serenity for the bots because Serenity has a bunch of control over the bots. But um, you have a mirror, quick, quick, easy, portable mirror button there, as well as the functions. But um, there's also a avatar search on Notorious. So if you go over to um, right here, they actually have the button. You just click on it. So I could just type in, I don't know, um, type in Jordan, I guess. And you can see right here, it'll search through Notorious's own avatar database. Because every Notorious user logs avatars to their database. So you could just search through all the avatars. Um, obviously, you can only switch into ones that are uploaded publicly. But um, you have all these buttons here. You could soft clone private avatars. Uh, you could preview them, I guess. Which I think just shoots it out in front of you. Yeah, right there. Obviously, that's my private one. But um, there's also... Uh, let's see. There's a lot of other things, too. Obviously, I have a couple clients loaded, so... Uh, some of the buttons are overlapping, but you have other things here as well that you can, other buttons, but um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I guess the only other thing I can think of is obviously, you know, there's a clock, there's a room timer. You have a quick, easy uh, shortcuts to mute Discord. You could deafen on Discord, but um, that pretty much wraps it up for Notorious. Um, but if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back when I can, but I will see you guys in the next one.